Okay, let's take a look at uh, genes and allele. So mm -hmm. the term gene, gene is a sequence of nucleotide, is a part or a length of a DNA, is a unit of inheritance, and it codes for a protein or a polypeptide. Uh -huh. And then gene locus, locus here come from the word location. So they are telling you the location of the gene. Gene locus is singular, gene loci is plural. It's the position of a gene on a chromosome. So if I can visualize gene and um, gene locus for you, it looks something like this. Oh my god, the earphone zap me. Ayo. <laughs> Ayo. Okay, so this is a chromosome. This is how chromosomes look like. These two are homologous chromosomes. Do you know what is homologous chromosome? No. No. Homologous chromosome basically just means that uh, they are a pair that are similar to each other. Okay? okay? If you recall, humans have 46 chromosomes. Mm -hmm. And when you name chromosome, you use number to name. You name it as yeah. one, two, three. But the funny thing is, we don't have chromosome 46. Mm -hmm. We only have up to chromosome 22. The last one, chromosome 23, is the sex chromosome. Mm -hmm. Why is that so? Because chromosomes come in pairs. You have two chromosome 1, you have two chromosome 2, you have two chromosome 3, two chromosome 4, and so on. So that's why we name them as chromosome 1, chromosome 2, chromosome 3. So 46 chromosome is actually 23 pairs. So we don't name them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that. We name them as 1 pair, 2 pair, 3 pair. And then this so-called pairing up is actually two pairs, sorry, one pair of homologous chromosome. Okay? okay. So this hmm. homologous chromosome here, you get one from your dad, you get one from your mom. So it's chromosome okay. two. One from dad, one from mom, one from dad, one from mom, one from dad, one from mom. So they are homologous chromosome. They have the same length, they have the same sequence of genes, they have the same number, uh, sorry, same location of the central mirror, and so on. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, from here, you already understand what is homologous chromosome. So from here, normally when we identify a gene, it is a small segment like this. So this is a gene. A gene, a segment, not a segment. So the homologous chromosome tend to have the same gene at the same location. So this location is what we call gene locus. Okay, you got an idea? Gene locus. Yeah. Then there'll be another gene locus. Together, we call it gene loci. Okay. Get them out. Let me in. Okay, so basically, this is gene. This is one gene, two gene, three gene, four genes. Four genes. This is one gene locus, two gene loci. Simple as that. Okay. Mm. Mm. okay, let's come back to the next part. Ouch, ouch. Oh, wait, uh, I need to share screen first. Okay, next.
Allele. Alleles are alternative forms of a gene which occupy the same loci on a pair of homologous chromosomes. So, mm. looks like a lot of alien words over here, right? Correct? Mm, yeah, a lot. <laughs> oh, is that my syllabus? So, basically, what happened here is say I have a gene. This gene code for eye color. Remember, eye color, you have a lot of different types of eye color. Mm -hmm. You have brown eye. So this brown is a leo. Brown a leo. Blue a leo. Mm -hmm. Green eye as well. Green a leo. So now you understand? So it means mm -hmm. that eye color is a unit of inheritance, is a gene. And then for this gene, you have different alternative. You could be brown, you could be blue, you could be green. Okay. Okay, yeah. So they mentioned that this allele occurs in homologous chromosome. So why is that so? Because remember, Homologous chromosomes tend to have the same gene. So if, say, mm -hmm. your father give you a brown allele and mm -hmm. your mom, who is blue eye, give you a blue allele, mm -hmm. so this is how it looks like. Mm -hmm. You have a brown allele and a blue allele in your homologous chromosome. Mm. Okay. That is allele. Let's at oops phenotype phenotype is an observable characteristic of an organism as opposed to genotype genotype is formed by the alleles of the organism and are the genetic makeup of the individual organism okay, okay? so we will look at what this is oops. So basically, remember, phenotype as opposed to uh -huh. genotype. Uh -huh. Say we are looking at allele T, T for tall, small uh -huh. T for short. Uh -huh. So if your dad give you a capital T allele, your mom give you a capital T allele, what is your observable trait? Uh, T. Huh? Uh, large T. What is your observable trait? Tall or short? Tall. Tall, yes. If your dad give you a small T, your mom give you a small T, you end up what type of short. observable trait? Yes, short. Short. So now you are able to identify what is phenotype, what is genotype? Mm. Okay, one more. If your dad give you capital T, your mom give you a small t. What is your observable uh -huh. trait? Uh, depends. Depends. <laughs> this one is completely <laughs> dominant over this. Hmm? Capital T is completely dominant over the small t. Okay. So do you know what's dominant or not? The like, dominant um, partner, the one that mm. holds the power, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> so this capital T is dominant over small t. So only, mm -hmm. only capital T will speak. So you end up with mm. tall. Uh -huh. Okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. So I repeat. Uh. Genotype refers to the genetic makeup. Genetic makeup is actually the alleles that you have. The alleles that you get from your father, the alleles that you get from your mother. Okay? 
One from your dad, one from your mom, one from your dad, one from your mom. So genotype is normally come, they come in pairs. Alright? And then phenotype is the ultimate expression by your body. Uh, for example, my ultimate mm. expression is black hair, brown eyes, short figure. <laughs> that is my phenotype. Okay? okay. My genotype, I could be, I could be say I could be tall, but I probably have a hidden shot in me. Something like that. Mm. Okay? So this is genetic makeup. This is the ultimate what you observe from the person. Okay? okay. So phenotype is what you observe. Genotype is your genetic makeup. Okay. Uh, yes. Who call me? Diviana, is it? Wait. You know the worksheet question 20, right? The, the picture is very blurry and I can't really see anything. I can't hear you. Your, your voice is muffled. How about you type into the chat group? Okay. You type which question? Then I will refer. Question 20. Wait, yeah. now I share screen first. Question 20. Huh? I only have. Oh, 20. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. So, individual 12 is a girl. What is her phenotype? What do you think is a phenotype? Don't know. Normal vision. Okay, so basically, uh, what happened here is... I go back to... They were saying that night blindness N is a dominant allele. If you yeah. have an N, N, N like this, you have night blindness. Sure. If you are N, N like this, you are also night blindness. night blindness. Only when you are N, N like this, you are normal. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Individual 12 parents are? Is normal. it normal? Yes, they are both normal. That means they are both like this. So what could be her phenotype? Mm, normal. Yes, because the father has two normal allele. The mother has two normal allele. They, own, can, they can only pass on normal allele to the kids. That is individual 12. So individual 12 will be normal. Okay? Okay. Do you need help for A2? What's the meaning of genotype again? Yeah, genotype of one. Can or not? Can do or not? Yeah. Okay. Kaylin? Uh -huh. Okay, let's continue. Mm. Dominant allele. Okay, this one. You can see the screen or not? Can, can, can. Okay, dominant allele. Dominant allele expresses itself in both homozygous and heterozygous condition, while recessive allele expresses itself only in homozygous condition. So this is the definition. So what does this uh heterozygous and homozygous? Wait, uh, stop share. 
So take note, thong is a dominant trait. So it expresses itself when it is in homozygous condition. So you might be wondering what is homozygous. Homo means same. So these two okay. letters are the same. So this is homozygous. Mm. So dominant trait expresses itself under homozygous condition and also under heterozygous condition. Mm -hmm. Hetero is the opposite of homo. It means different. Okay? You can recall, what does homosexual tell you? <laughs> uh, like... <laughs> uh, Eh? Huh? Ah! Gay. Gay. Not just gay, lesbian as well. That means uh -huh. sex. Sexual. Ma. Sex between uh -huh. two same gender. Mm. Because homo means same. Same gender. Guy, guy, yeah. go, go. Okay? okay? Heterosexual would mean that guy uh, and girl, guy or girl. girl and guy. Yes. Different mm. gender. Okay, sex mm. between the different gender. Okay, so use mm. that to help you remember this. Okay? okay. And then our dominant gene, our dominant allele, tend to be able to express itself under homozygous condition and heterozygous condition. Recessive okay. allele will only express itself under homozygous condition. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, dominant, recessive, homozygous, as I said earlier, they have two identical allele, two same allele. Homo means same. Heterozygous mm -hmm. means different. So they have two mm -hmm. different alleles at corresponding loci. Okay, sex chromosome as opposed to autosome. Okay, this one. You can look at the next page, which is this. Okay. This is actually what I wanted to draw just now. You have mm. two chromosome one, two chromosome two, two chromosome three, and then blah, blah, blah. your last chromosome mm -hmm. is your sex chromosome. Why is it called sex chromosome? Because it determines your sex. If you mm -hmm. are XY, you will be male. If you are XX, you will be a female. So we call them okay. sex chromosome. Okay. Other chromosomes that doesn't determine sex, eh? we call it autosome. Is that clear? Mm. So okay. you are either this or you are this. You cannot be both. Okay. Mm. And then we have germ cells and somatic cells. Germ cells are the cells in your body that is used for reproduction. In males, they are sperm. In females, they are ovum. Any okay. other cells that are not sperm and they are not ovum are called somatic cells. So you are either this or this. Cannot be both. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I wanted to read the rest. Okay, they are actually uh, elaboration of what I've just mentioned. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Oops. Let's pop share.